What's up, LEGO fans? It's LEGO Builder 123 here with another review. Today's set is set number 76027, Black Mantis Deep, Deep Sea Strike. It's 387 pieces and it costs $40 at Toys R Us. So let's get on with the box. And this box art is nice. I like this one a lot. Has four minifigures Black Manta. Aquaman, Scuba Robin, and the new 2015 Batman. And it has a lot of cool play features, just like the set I reviewed before. On the back of the box, you have the Lego logo and some of the play features, like the Super Jumper. And you have a good look at Black's, Black Manta's Deep Sea Striker. That's what I'm going to call it, because it doesn't have a real name in the set. It also shows the bat sub, which is really cool. And it also shows some of the little features in the set. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get on to the minifigure review. Kicking off this review, we have Batman. And this is the new 2015 version. This has the new 2015 cow, which resembles the... Um, Batman v Superman cow has nice printing on the torso. This reminds me a lot of the new 52 variant, which I believe that's what they're trying to go for. This one appears in the Lego Batman 3 video game. Here is a look at the back printing, and he also comes with a Batarang as well. Comes with two of them in a the set, which are the other one is inside the scuba. I mean the <laughs> the bat sub. Here is his double-sided face, and this is the one from the Penguin set in 2014. And I'll just show you what he looks like with his scuba mask on, with his cowl over top of it. So I'm just going to put this back on like this, and here's what he looks like. Let's get a better look at that right there. So that's pretty cool. I like this minifigure. This one really does really well in the set, and I like the new cowl really really well it's really well done but let's get on to the next figure in the set the next figure in the set we have is Aquaman and this is the same one we got from 2013 but this minifigure is really nice and it's really cool I like the design on the torso and the design on the back as well and for a little known fact Aquaman is not at all the worst mini the worst uh, DC Comics character He's one of the only people that can actually punch Superman and actually hurt him. So he's really strong, so you better watch out. He comes with a double-sided face and this swooped hair piece. Kind of like Justin Bieber. <laughs> and right there you have his angry face right there. And a little bit of the back printing as well. So he is on the super jumper, and I'll show you what that does in a second. Uh, let's get on to the next minifigure. The next minifigure we have is Black Manta. And he has a lot of dark printing on his torso, so I'm going to show you that in, the vid in a little bit. But here is his headpiece, and it's really interesting. I'll just show you what it does, because, yeah, I'll just take that off of him. He does come with a spear, like you just saw, go across the set. I'm going to have to do this. There we go. So, his head is not a minifigure head at all. It just closes on like that, and you can see his... Torso printing right there. Kind of reflective. I like that. And Black Manta is a really iconic um, Aquaman villain. So I'm glad that they included this in the set. He has just a little bit of back printing. Nothing special. Nothing major. It's mostly covered up by his little tank right there. So that is Black Manta. And let's get on to the final minifigure. Alrighty so. guys. So here is Scuba Robin. And he is pretty cool. This is a new variant of Robin that we have never gotten before. You can see his nice torso printing right there. Alongside the back, we also have some back printing. He does come with a scuba tank, and let me just get that now. And it's one of the older yellow ones, which is kind of common now. I haven't seen them recently, but they're pretty common. And that just goes on his back. And you can take off his helmet to reveal his back printing. And you can just put that on like this. And it just looks awesome. 
This is a really cool minifigure. Well done. Especially since it's a Robin. And also, I would not forget to mention that he does come with some hair. So, this Robin has a lot of cool features. And this is more of the Damian Wayne hair we got. So, I don't know which Robin this is supposed to be. Because last one, they announced it was um, Tim Drake. So, maybe this is Jason Todd. I don't know. Because his hair is different. So, whatever it is, or whoever he is, uh, he's pretty cool. Alright guys, so let's get on to the Bat Sub. And this is another variant of the Bat Sub that we've gotten before. The first one we got was the little poly bag. Then we got the 2013 one with Aquaman in it. So, this is another variant, and I like this one too. They're all pretty cool. This one's more sleek and, like more bullet shape so I like that comes with two flick fires on either side and let me just show you how to work these cool flick fires you can just adjust these and what do you do is you can either flick it but I like to put my thumb on it and just shoot it like that and they go decent amount I mean they're okay you can have a adjustable cockpit which you can easily store Batman inside and let's just show you there's the two batterings I was talking about before and those are supposed to go behind the seat, but, you know, they do whatever they want to do. There's this awesome bat fin at the bottom, um, at the back of it, and it, this piece, the little escape jet, comes off, and you can have Robin or whoever, whatever minifigure you want to, ride on top of it, and it's really nice. I like this one. So that's a little escape pod, just like in the Dark Knight trilogy, you had the escape pod, but it was called the bat pod, and so forth. So here is just an aerial view of the whole thing. It's pretty long. I didn't think it would be this long, but it's really nice and sleek. And you have the Batman sticker on the front and the valve at the front as well. So this is a good look at the bat set. Our next feature in the set is Black Manta's deep sea striker and this thing is pretty amazing I like this one it has a lot of cool retro pieces in it oh a little bit of retro pieces and some of the um, pieces actually glow in the dark as well you have the rotor at the back and it just spins nice like that you have uh, five stickers on it one on either side this one at the top there's one at the front which reveals these new flick missiles. You just poke these down, this piece, and it just, they fly off. And in the inside, you have another sticker, which is really detailed. It's right there. And I like the little transparent red piece. It's really nice. And you can fit Black Manta inside. So let's do that right now. So you just all you gotta do is take Black Manta, you open this up, he can fall in, and he can destroy the undersea world of Atlantis. And here's just a good look at the back. I like these pieces, it looks like Black Manta. It would look like Black Manta, because he has those on his face as well. So, this is the Undersea Striker. Another thing to mention is the... Robo Shark, and this is made up of just a little bit of pieces, and it is black and gray, and you can open his mouth and close it. You can fit studs in it, so that's cool. And these studs at the back glow in the dark, just like all the other ones on the set. All the other white studs on the set glow in the dark. So this is just a nice look at the Robo Shark in the set. Alright guys, here is the last part of the set, and this is the rescue part of the set, which has the best play feature, I have to say. This has four columns and two seaweed things growing out of it. There is the Trident of Poseidon right there up top, and that is what Aquaman right there is trying to go get. And he has to get that and save Robin too. And Robin is suffocating right now because I didn't put back on his scuba gear, so he's probably dead anyway. But Robin's cool, so leave him alone. <laughs> so what you got to do is you got to press down on this super jumper right here. And you're going to knock off the 
trident. So let's see if I can do this, because the last time I got it, but I didn't record it. So let's see if I can do it. Alright, so that was good. Just need to do it a little bit. Well, not like that. And I just knocked over one of the pillars. I'm going to put that back on before I finish filming, because I'd be wrong. Alright, so here we go. And let's see if I can do this. If I don't get it, then I'm going to be really mad, because that's the whole point of the super jumper, is to have fun with it. And I'm hitting it, it's just not going in. Let's see if I... Alright, let's just make sure. Alright. Ah, oh, man. This is not working. This is not working at all. So, let's see. I'm going to back this up a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. Alright, um, two more tries, and then I'll just throw it at it, I guess. <clears throat> there we go. That's perfect right there. And that rescues Robin. And let's just take a good look at the little area that we have here. We have Aquaman and Robin laying there. Get these two out. So here's a little area. It's built up of um three pillar four pillars. One is just really small, like a platform, not even a pillar. And you have the trident up there. And luck lucky for me I got two tridents in this set, so now I have three. So that is pretty cool. And this is just a nice little mini build for you guys. There are, that's basically the only play feature they have, but it's really nice for show, especially if you're going to make stop motions like I am. So that is this part of the set, and let's get on to the final verdict of the set. Okay, guys, so what I would say for this set is I would buy this probably second or third, because I would buy the Green Lantern set first, then I would either buy this or the Brainiac Attack set, which comes with two, three exclusive minifigures to the set. Brain Axe exclusive, Supergirls exclusive, and Martian Manhunt's exclusive. So if you can find that, definitely get that second. But I would definitely buy this second or third because it's the cheapest set out of the... It's one of the cheaper sets. It's the third cheapest. And the Brain Axe Attack set is an exclusive set to Target. So if you don't have a Target near you, definitely pick this up. But this is my review. And... This set wouldn't be complete without a comic book, which, again, I'll just let you guys do for your own. Just look at this from the back. There's all these minifigures coming out, and even a big fig, and another big fig. So, keep your eyes out for more LEGO reviews, and comment below and let me know what you guys think. This is LEGO Builder 1203, signing out.